What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Wednesday, May 10th. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the prospects of Bitcoin NFTs going mainstream and why in this video, it's really important to learn how to buy a Bitcoin NFT. Not many people know actually how to buy a Bitcoin NFT, but we're going to walk through in this video which marketplaces you should visit, which tools to find the best NFT for the best price, how to validate to make sure that that collection is real and not a scam. And also at the end, we're also gonna share with you a demonstration of what Bitcoin wallet you should be using to buy these NFTs. We're gonna do the whole walkthrough with you in this video. It's gonna be short and concise, so do not miss a single piece of this video. Stick around to the very end to hear my conclusion and statement. And as always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page, and most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So right now, there are two marketplaces I'm gonna share with you that are on my radar that I find to be the best listed collections for Bitcoin NFTs. The first one is Gamma, also known as Gamma.io, which is the URL address. Now, Gamma.io is a great place to buy ordinal NFTs, Bitcoin ordinal NFTs. The reason I said that twice is because there's two different types of NFTs. There's ordinals, and then there's stacks. Why are these different? Right now, people are more flocking towards the ordinals, Bitcoin ordinals. And right now, Stacks is something completely separate. So Stacks is actually a layer two solution that's been built on the Bitcoin blockchain. And so there are other collections there, but again, you would actually have to have Stack tokens to buy that. For me, I wanna stick with Bitcoin ordinals because you're spending Bitcoin in order to receive Bitcoin NFTs rather than buying stack tokens to buy Bitcoin NFTs. So to me, I think the longevity is around ordinals. And also let's go to another marketplace and that is Magic Eden. Now on the top, you're gonna see that there's four chains. There's Solana blockchain, Ethereum, Polygon, and Bitcoin. You wanna make sure to click on Bitcoin. You can find all the collections here, but I'm gonna share with you why Bitcoin NFTs are on the market right now and why they're actually in the mainstream media and catching attention. So if we go to this next slide, this is from T.O. Now, this was posted recently around Michael Saylor, who is a major Bitcoin maxi. All he cares about is Bitcoin. He does not care about Ethereum. He does not care about Solana or any other token. He has billions of dollars and also VC's money into Bitcoin. So lately, he actually was asked on a podcast regarding his thoughts around BRC20 tokens. So if you don't know what that is, basically people can create tokens within the Bitcoin blockchain. And nobody really thought about that. Michael Saylor has always considered Bitcoin a store of value, but now being asked around ordinal NFTs and also BRC20 tokens, he's absolutely bullish on it. In fact, I've never seen him so enthusiastic or so supportive of something other than Bitcoin. So this is the first time I've ever heard of it. And it also garnered a lot of attention, so much so that we actually had people in Twitter spaces talking about what he had actually said in that podcast because it was so different. So a month ago, I actually covered one of these collections on Bitcoin ordinals, and that was called Bitcoin Frogs. Now, when the time I made this video, it was around 0.001 Bitcoin. And we even had sales all the way up to as high as 0.28 Bitcoin. So that is a major, major return. I'm gonna put a link on the upper right hand side so you can watch that video and see how early we are in regards to that. So when you're watching this video, we're gonna cover some great collections in this video. But before I get there, let's talk about a really great tool to use. Now, I want you guys to go to best in slot XYZ. Again, that's best in slot dot xyz which is the url header and when you find that website you'll see here the best ways to find collections so what are the ways that i learned how to find the best collections well i go over up here to collections and it'll take me to all the bitcoin nfts but what i want to find here is a collection that has a big market cap why is that important because this will allow me to see how much Bitcoin has been traded with these collections. And because these collections have a high market cap, that means there's a lot of trading volume. That means that these collections have been around either for a long time or they've been around for a short time and they've had major, major buy-in orders. That means it's really popular. So say for instance, right down below, you can see that Bitcoin Frogs has a total trading volume of around 357 Bitcoin. guys. Bitcoin right now is a lot of money. So you gotta consider that that could be a really promising project right there. Now there are a ton of other collections, but I wanna cover some of the top collections that I look out for. And before we do that, when you look out for your top collections, make sure to go back on Gamma 
and look up that actual collection. Make sure that it actually has a check mark right next to it because a check mark helps validate that collection is legit, is been established, and probably the founders are a little bit more well known. So let's look in the top collections that I have on my radar that have a good cost of entry that used to be like Bitcoin frogs. Now, let's go ahead and go to the first one, and that is Finney. Now, Finney right now is trading around 0 0.02 Bitcoin. Only 420 of these NFTs are listed right now on Gamma, and only 14 are listed for sale on the market floor. And this is considered the first comic book on Bitcoin. And the artwork is really nice. It's a PFP artwork, it faces to the right, plus they're very unique in their own traits. What else is there? There's also the Honey Badger. Now the Honey Badger is a lot cheaper, 0 0.002 Bitcoin, almost similar to Bitcoin frogs. Now there's a 10,000 of these NFTs. Will these do well? Well, honestly to me, I would not wanna buy more than one. I would just have one of each one of these if I had the liquidity, just to have some exposure. And also let's go ahead and talk about the next one, which is right click inscribe. Another check mark here, but what's really cool about this, this is a limited supply, around 40, only 40 of these NFTs on the floor. Now the cost of entry, 0 0.006 Bitcoin, only 16 listed for sale. But again, keep in mind that if you buy into a collection like this, there's not gonna be a lot of massive trading volume unless they boost the price up of these NFTs or someone really like a celebrity or somebody like promotes this, maybe an influencer, it makes it really popular. But right now they're really low cost, but there is a very limited supply. So do not expect a lot of trading volume with this collection. And the last one I wanna share with you is this collection and that is called Megapunks. Now Megapunks has around 10,000 of these NFTs right now, almost around close to one Bitcoin worth of trading volume, 265 of these NFTs. So we're gonna go ahead and look into how to buy these NFTs. I'm gonna use Megapunks as a great example because again, it's very cost effective to enter. And also I just wanna demonstrate this NFT because it does have a checker mark. So before we do that, you need to download an Xverse browser extension wallet. So what will happen is it will appear on the upper right hand side as an extension wallet compared to Phantom Wallet or MetaMask. It's very much the exact same thing. So what happens is when you actually have this downloaded on the upper right hand side on your browser extension, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna buy Bitcoin either on Coinbase, KuCoin or whatever exchange you use. And you're, make, you're gonna make sure to click on receive. And you're gonna make sure to copy that address, which is the Bitcoin address, because there are two different addresses. There's one for Bitcoin and then there's one for ordinal NFTs. So basically, if I were to send you Bitcoin, which is the actual Bitcoin money or the cryptocurrency, I would send it to this address. But if I wanna send you a Bitcoin NFT, then I would send it to your Bitcoin ordinals address, which is completely separate. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to buy a Bitcoin NFT. So right now I'm already on the website. I've already logged into my account on the upper right hand side. Since this is a pre-recorded video, I'm gonna walk through with you on this. I'm gonna click on the buy now button and I'm gonna make sure to check my wallet to make sure my funds are in there. And as you can see, I have around $196, around 0 0.007 Bitcoin. So now it's gonna ask me to sign up, set up a transaction, I'm gonna confirm it. Then I'm gonna sign the purchase transaction. I'm gonna confirm it. And then I'm gonna complete the purchase. Once that happens, this will pop up. And you're very curious, if you're not sure if that transaction went through, make sure to check your wallet again and make sure that the Bitcoin was sent. And so when you click on the sending button right here, you can click on that link and it'll take you here. Once it takes you here, you wanna check on the left-hand side. That's gonna be your address. That's gonna be where your address should be considered the receive. So if I bought it, you should have that receipt right there saying that you now have had that Bitcoin NFT transferred to your wallet. And it's simple as that. So overall, that is how you buy Bitcoin NFTs. You can do it on Magic Eden. You can do it on Gamma.io. But regardless, you just need to know that when you do buy a Bitcoin NFT, it does take a little bit longer than buying an NFT on Ethereum or Solana. For me, when I bought that recent NFT, it literally took around an hour for it to fully show up in my wallet, to fully show up in my account. And that's basically it. So it does take a little bit of time because again, Bitcoin's blockchain is congested right now because a ton of people are either inscribing, which is another way of saying creating things like BRC20 tokens or NFT collections. So there's very little validators to validate a transaction as fast compared to Solana or Ethereum. 
So keep that in mind. So let me know down in the comments below which Bitcoin NFT collections you're very bullish on, and also some that we haven't covered on this channel. Are there cheap entry points for people to make money to accumulate and then sell the top? Or are there other NFTs that are expensive, but you see value in them growing much bigger than their market cap and their floor price later on down the road? I wanna hear all those comments down below on both YouTube and Twitter, and I cannot wait to read them. So as always, be sure to like up the button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and buy and sell orders, both NFTs, cryptocurrencies, and also Bitcoin NFTs. And make sure to join us for the next Bitcoin video. Until then, we'll see you guys and girls next time.